What we know about concussion to this point is typically a neurologic exam done by a neurologist is going to be unremarkable or it will be normal. We also know that imaging studies, so a CT scan or an MRI, in most cases are also going to look perfectly normal. So what we're left with is an individual's report of symptoms. Are they having headaches? Do they feel nauseous? Did they experience any amnesia? And sometimes people aren't the best reporters of their own symptoms. So again, neuropsychology is useful because we use these objective measures to assess somebody's memory functioning, reaction time, and processing speed. And those tend to be the areas most sensitive to brain injury. So ideally, what we do in neuropsychology is we have a pre-injury baseline. So we administer a series of tests prior to an athlete or an individual ever playing sports, for example. And then after their injury, we compare their results to their pre-injury or their own baseline. And we're able to determine whether or not any changes have taken place in their thinking abilities. That information is then useful in helping uh, to make a return to play decision. So deciding when somebody is completely recovered, um, and presumably when you're completely recovered, you're, you're safe to go back to sports, school, work, whatever the case may be.